Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Ooh, I get juiced up just thinking about it. So why is this one of my favorite parts of this whole process? The reason why is because it's something that is actually controllable. And once we see the positive effect it has on our life, we just wanna keep elevating the game more and more. And that one key aspect is environment. I had the privilege of meeting Dr. Sean Stevenson a few years ago. He's since passed, the guy was brilliant. They call him the three foot giant. Um, anyways, one of the things that he would say that resonated with me is he would talk about addiction. And he'd say, if you were locked up in a crack house for a year, you would come out addicted because of the environment. And on the other side, if you took an addict out of that environment and you put them in and locked them in for a year with highly successful individuals, they would come out successful. Now, it wasn't a study, it's more of a theory, but what a wonderful way to look at it. That's how powerful environment is. And I call it the two Ds within this umbrella of environment. With my environment, am I going by default and reacting, or am I actually looking and designing it, the other D? So it's designation or default. I wanna design my environment. I wanna put myself with people that are at, at higher levels or further ahead than I am so I can continue to learn and extract the information and grow and look to do even more. Same thing in addiction, it's why they have sponsors, someone who is further ahead that I can go ahead and align with and find out, hey, how did you do it? And it's why I love having multiple people in my life that I continue to check in with and say, hey, here's an issue, I would love your take, great, your take, your take. And I try to have seven to 10 people in my life at all times that I can reach out to and, and bounce ideas off of and learn from them and get all their feedback in a look. Because a lot of the times I think one thing and one person says another that contradicts that, I tend to, as a human being, go, ah, eh, screw you, you're wrong. You don't see it the same way I do. But when I have multiple people, it's amazing because when I see a theme, I'm able to step back and go, okay, there's gotta be truth here. Even though I don't see it yet, I have multiple people in my life that care about me, that love me, that are in my environment, my direct environment, stating, you may wanna reconsider or look at this differently. So here's today's question, here's today's challenge. I challenge you to take a look at your environment. Is it something that builds you up on a daily basis that continually pushes you to become that better version, that next version of you? Or are you kind of going by default and kind of just going throughout the day and, and bumping into people? I'm not saying there's right or wrong with anything, but what I'm saying is I want to encourage you to challenge the mindset. If you think that there's a next level that you can get to by creating a different environment, I challenge you to go ahead and do that. That's today's lesson.